Howdy folks, Tina aka Tima here for another Everything Needs Bling episode. So I've picked up this beautiful box from this one. I, I'm not sure where, <laughs> but most of the time they're from Dollar General. This one's from a while ago and a friend of mine is having an event and I'm going to be donating this box. It's going to be filled with crystal ABs. So it's going up for an auction. But in the meantime, we gotta bling something. If I'm gonna donate something, it's gotta be blinged, right? And also, um, this person really loves um, purple and butterflies. So we are going to see what we can do. At first, I was just gonna put a few uh, purple sparklers here. And the more I get looking at it, the more I think it needs some more bling. So I have gotten out my art dot drawers see so these are my art dot drawers and how I keep my sparklers and sparklers for squares and down there of course of our inserts that we started printing at our shop but anyway so I've got out my stash of sparklers and sparklers for squares this is a smaller box with these small words and again I wasn't gonna highlight that but I think I am now I hate here's some supplies that I have I have this dot stick, okay, and it's dotting adhesive, and yes, it's been well used because I use this on um, all my crafting projects, including diamond painting if it's not a sticky place. And what you have to do here, I shake it up really well, and I'm going to use a tray that I don't care, that if it doesn't wash out, I don't mind throwing this away because we have lots and lots of these, and I will pour some in here. I have toothpicks for small areas just in case. I have tweezers handy. I have my brush. I have a diamond painting pen to pick up the gems if necessary. Usually it's just the tweezers that I need. I have a plate to catch the glue and even have a paper towel and a wet paper towel handy and close by. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and pour some of this glue right into this tray. And this is very runny glue. I like the consistency of the Aileen's Tack It Over and Over glue. It's thicker, but it is supposed to be a repositional adhesive. Whereas this one, once you get it wet, you let it dry. And once it's dry, it's tacky, just like a diamond painting canvas. And then the um, product can stick to that. So either one would probably work. I've used the Aileen's in the past. So. What I've done is look through some of my sparklers before I got started, but this was my process. So this butterfly up here is blue, and I thought that this Caribbean, the S for Us Caribbean, it has blue with an AB coating. So I thought about doing the body in aqua, and then the tips of the wings in this Caribbean. At least that's the current plan. We'll see if that changes. And so this green butterfly, I thought about having, and I had to go with S for S because these are smaller than our sparklers. These are sparklers for squares. So they are round in shape. These are all glass drills, but they are sized to fit a square diamond painting, even though they are round, but I also use them for blinging, obviously. So I thought about having the body green and then the outside again of the wing tips uh, with the AB coating on that. And over here, I might be using the sparkler size on this butterfly. It's like pinky, blush, orange, salmon-y colors. And I thought that this purple rain, I thought would match really well with that. And I got a lot of white trays out too. So here that is. So this has a hint of purple. It's almost like a yellow base, but it has, has hints of purple in there. And that's called Purple Rain. And I thought about putting that on a few of these areas to pick up some of that color. Let's see. I have out Royal Purples. So here's Royal Purples. And as you can see, it's actually 
different colors of purple, different hues and shades. Sometimes there's even blues in there, occasionally. And then um, hydrangea, again, another color with multiple shades of purples and pinks and hues, which actually go perfect as well. Now this word is kind of metallic E looking. And I thought about gold, but gold was too brash. And so then I found twilight. So our twilight color, I think might be perfect for that because it has this gold underneath with a hint of purple on top. So I'm hoping that that is going to work there for the hopeful. I do have unicorn, which is a purple base with an AB coating. I'm not sure quite yet how or where or if we're gonna use all of these colors. Okay, so I have poured some into the containers. And here's unicorn in the container. There's unicorn. So it's got a purple base with an AB coating in it. And every time you, when you put a AB coating on a drill, then it changes the hues on it. Matter of fact, I think it was yesterday, the day before, someone was trying to get an AB drill for $37.99. If you're familiar with that color, it's very dark brown. So any dark colors, including black, which is 310, if you put an AB coating on that, they do not look like that color at all. So you, th those are gonna go in specialty places. You know, I think butterfly eyes, dragonflies, just different places, but not, um, it, you cannot still see the dark colors. So this one's hydrangea, and as you can tell, we have a lot of different shades of purple, purpley pink hues in there. So I will have to figure out as I go along, so I'm just showing you my process. This is my process, get off the tools, and we are going to start painting where I plan and hope that I don't make mistakes, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna start on the, the left top corner for me since I'm right-handed and I wanna work this way. And again, I just design as I go. I'm going to paint, let's see, the butterfly. I think I'm going to put drills on the body, on the head. And I'm not sure, I'll be honest with you, I'm not even sure where I'm going to put these drills. So right now, I'm just going to try this. So I'm just using this dot stick and the tip of my brush and I'm going to where I think I will put some drills out there. Now my plans can always change. I haven't thought much more than what I've told you. So we'll see how this works out. Yes, we will. I, let's see, kind of like that. You see how the body's starting to dry a little bit? You don't want this too thin. You want it to hold whatever you're laying on it, and in our case, drills. So I do it a pretty thick layer right there. And let's see how we want these along the outside. I do my dots here. Yeah. We all went to the dentist today, four of us plus uh, the adults, so all six of us went. I even thought uh, Jedediah was going to go, but obviously he's at school, college, so he wasn't here to go, and we had to set it again for December, the next appointment, and we will see if Jed will make that one. I don't know. His schedule changes, huh? Changes sometimes are hard to take. It's like these butterfly undergoes changes. They undergo changes. Okay, I like how that is. So these are starting to dry now. Obviously, we can't do the full time thing here because I would be waiting on those to dry for a while. But I am 
think I'm going to go for it, guys, and cover up this word hopeful. I am hopeful that it will look well, but I am not sure if we'll be able to read the word. That's the only problem. I'm wondering if I should just come in here like this with the bling and then maybe come out with the bling. Hmm. What if we do that? Instead of doing the whole word, I might try that. And that way, if it doesn't look as good as I want it to, <laughs> we can still read the word and still have bling. So that's what I'm going to try now. So I'm going to try to go right over the word and the lines here with a pretty thick coating of this glue right up to the letter. Actually, we might be going right up to the top of that, right? Oh, someone here to remind me what it says because I can't remember. <laughs> oh, help me. So everybody's teeth were good. So that's good. I have another has anybody found another coon in the cage this morning? In the cage. So it was actually in the duck cage of the cage. So the, the duck the duck pen is actually inside the huge rabbit pen. Six foot tall and it's huge. And um, when she woke up at like six she went out there like six thirty or something, so it was already daylight. And that little rascally raccoon was in the duck pen eating the duck food. Now thank goodness it was probably a teenager or something. Uh, so it had not eaten the ducks. So thank goodness for that. And Serenity had to relocate a second raccoon this week. So yeah. We, uh, that's life, life in the country, huh? We have all kind of wildlife. There was a deer out there yesterday stomping at Gideon when he went outside. We've had, um, foxes and turkey, possums. I don't think we've seen an armadillo on our property this close. Nor have we seen a bear or cougar up there close. We've seen a dead bobcat in the woods, the bones of a dead bobcat. So let me see. If that goes up like this, I just wanted to re leave most of that L in place so we can read it. So I don't, because I don't know how this is going to turn out. Okay, so let's see. Now let's go here. That's still drying because I did it pretty thick. And so I'm going to, on here, this body, I'll be using the sparklers because it's so big. We'll obviously put one there for the head, and we'll come down here, put them in this body. We'll see if we're going to use all the sparklers or not there. Now, for this guy, since they have natural dots right here, we're certainly going to dot that. That's just natural places to put them since we're just following the design of our canvas, which happens to be this little box. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go out to the tips again. And this time I'm going and following the veins because this one's big enough that I can see all the veins. So this time I'm just following the veins there. Probably have to stop there because it's at the edge of my box. Okay. There we go. Trying to get all of this there. Alrighty. Oh, again, I want them pretty thick because I want them to stick. Hmm. We can do one right there. There. Okay. So we're going to let that dry and come back to that. Okay. Obviously, I put way more glue in here than I should. I also have another idea, and I do not know if I'm going to do it or not. 
but if this works out well and it looks good when we're done, I may, may, don't know yet, go around this line with some more drills that hopefully would be a little bit more purple and bring out more of the purple. But we'll see. I am still deciding. Let's see my little box. I'm not going to hit right there. Okay. And this is still drying. Okay. So I'm going to have to come back to y'all. And I'll go ahead and wash my brush out. If you don't wash your glue out, it'll get sticky. So I'm going to take a break and come back. And um, hopefully this will be dried by then. See you in a minute. Okay. Welcome back. So our glue has dried. And we're going to start, since I started gluing stuff from the top left to the bottom right, I'm going to put on the drills from the bottom right to the top left, since my hand will be in the way. Again, the body of this butterfly is like a gray-brown, but because I want to emphasize purple, I am going to try to see, these are sparklers, um, Royal purples is what I have in here right now, which is varying sh various shades of purple. So I'm going to try to use these for the head and the body. And I don't know how it's going to look. I you just don't always you can't always plan these things out. I can pick out colors, but it, I just don't know how it's going to look until it goes down. That's the name of the game. Um, I thought about just starting with the darker colors there in the body and I think I'm going to go out, let's see, hmm, you know what, I think I'm going to use the Esperus on, how much could it take me? So since the Esperus is smaller, I think I'm going to use it on here. Well, maybe not, huh? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. See, I see there's a bind there. Okay. So, what happened here is, and by the way, since I'm working on paper, I'm going to now have to glue that again. So, we'll work around that. What I want to try to do down here is make these S for S area so that the tail looks like it's tapering. Does that make sense? So instead of the full as, uh, sparklers, I want to do sparklers for square down here. So that'll need to dry. So then I was going to go out with a lighter shade of purple and this hydrangea has actually a lot, several shades in here. I don't know what you, lilac, lavenders, different colors of, of purple. Oopsie. Yeah, one jumped around. Our house is filled with drills. Which they're everywhere. And our bed, our floors, obviously. Look at there. So these colors of purple are coming out on those spots. Right there. So we have the darker color in the body in the middle and we're going to come out with the lighter shades of purple out there and then I think I'm going to follow this purple rain it has like a yellow base but a, a purple hue on top a purple AB hue and since um, our box has that gold yellow tone and this butterfly has those uh, peachy gold tones. Thought about going with these on the outside. Let's see. Or should we just stick with the purple? What if we had these where come on now. See how the middle of this butterfly right here is yellow? What if we had those where the yellow comes out? right there. Let's see. Like this. And then we put, let's see if I can get this one off. 
There we go. And then we go back and put the hydrangea, some more purples, up in here. What do you think? You like that? Should it stay all purple? See, and that's just where I put this dot. Dropped another one. Drawn another one. Oop. Here we go. That's we have a nice hiccup. See one. There, I see them all. Get the other one over there. Okay. And let's see. Here we go. There we go. What do y'all think? I kind of like that. I think I like that. Um, trying to do a little more blue purple on this outside as opposed to the little bit lighter purple here on the inside. I don't know. I might not even see the varying shades of purple. I'll make sure they will float down there really well. There we go. Look, I like that. I like how the yellow brings out this part here. Let's see. What do you think? And um, the body, the tail of the body is still drying. So I have to go back and add the royal purples into that in a minute. Okay. So purple rain, just so I, I don't spill drills everywhere else. I'm going to go ahead and put purple rain back into the container. Here's a little diamond art club trace. And I've wondered, what on earth am I going to do with them? So they come in pretty handy when I have to have all these out at once. And I need all of the white background also. Okie doke. So I think, so originally I was just going to put a few on that butterfly. But I really, I really like the way that it turned out. So now we're going to do the word hopeful. Okay. And hopeful, we were going to do this twilight. Sparklers for square twilight. I'm going with the smaller drills because the lines are so thin, narrow. This has a gold base with an AB coating that looks like purple hues in it. And I want to bring out the gold in, in the hopeful, but then maybe add a little bit of purple hues to it. Again, this is very similar to Twilight, but there they there are those. Oh, those are twilight, duh. So twilight, duh, I guess it is. Okay. Purple rain. But purple rain is paler. Okay. So let's get some twilight down on these lines. And let's see if I can do it without spilling too many. And I don't know how these little S for S's are going to do with me trying to pick them up. As a matter of fact, I wonder if a pen will work better this time. Let's see. Oh yes, that works much better this time. I could have tried that before, you think? Mm, let's see. Got some clay up in there. I think this is a Diamond Art Club pen. Oh, they're fifteen dollars from us. Maybe I need the free shipping. You can find that when you're ordering from Diamond Art Club and you need free shipping. They have new pen tips now and pens. And do I have plenty of pens? Yes, I do. I have plenty of pens. But decided to try it because it's a shimmery orangey sunset color. And I love those colors. Oh, I love the colors. I like shimmer in just about anything. And here we go. There we go. What do you think? What do you think? It goes right in there to that butterfly. I like the smaller ones. Alright. Let's put them here on this side. 
see if I can do it without dropping them or making a mess again. Okay. Oh, the pen's much better with the small ones. Much better. As long as I don't have any kind of tweezing out right there. Yes. So how are y'all doing this summer, this first day of summer? Here in 2023, it's beautiful weather here. We went to the dentist, and while we were waiting for some reason, oh my goodness, that lady hurt my mouth this time. She uses the ultrasonic thing to clean my teeth, which I like the very clean feeling of it, no problem. And since my teeth are somewhat sensitive, I always feel it a little extra. But this time, this woman, I felt like I was in a combat zone. I felt like that I could taste blood. She kept hitting way up in my gums. It was painful. Okay, there's hopeful. Now, or the, that line. I'm not sure I should have done the inside line right there. But at this point, I'll be honest, I don't think I can take it off either. So, because see, I feel it almost is more balanced here and here. What do y'all think? I think I should, I can't take it off. So I guess it's staying like it is. Now, I could do the whole thing, but I just don't think it would be as readable. I really don't. Okay, so let's do the butterflies. Let's put this little twilight back in this box or container. See, I, um, I chose to use these art dot containers for the sparklers. And thanks to my friend Cheryl, she helped me finally get organized. I've been wanting to for years, so never took the time to do it. Okay, we're going to make the body of this top blue butterfly plane right here. No, no tweezers this time. Let's go with this pen again. Oh, yeah. Let's make the little head. There we go. And the body. Let's go right down the tail. I don't know how any smaller you're going to be that you are. Right there. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that one. Alright. And now we're going to get the Caribbean out because we want to bling those wings out. Alright. Okay. Awful. And let's get some Caribbean, because Caribbean is an aqua with an AB coating. That's what that is. Okay. And it has some hues of green in there. So it gives a little bit more dimension to our butterflies. And shine. Of course, shine, right? Okay, we'll have it going up here on the tip, right where our dots of glue were, and I can see those little bitty dots there. So I'm just covering those. There we go. I did different varying shades in there, some lighter. That's the nature of the AB coating. So I just have varying different shades of color in there. And I think we got it. Let's see. I'm thinking I might get that one more in here. Yes. Okay, what do y'all think of that? Show you that one up close. There we go. I need one of my roll stop pins for Diamond Pin Pal. This, this pin just happened to be laying right here in handy. <laughs> so that that's the one I grabbed. But it keeps rolling away. Okay. And then green butterfly, we're going to use light green on the body. That's what we're going to use on this little gal. And let's get this 
body in there, the head, and coming down the body. There we go, just a little one. Okay, and then we're going to come in with Moonstone on the tips of those wings to bling that up. And Moonstone again is, these are S for S. Moonstone is a light green with an AB coating. So the AB coatings again really change those colors. See shades of greens and blues in there. See, focus. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to focus. Okay. Let's see if we can get these onto the wing tips. And kind of beautify. This beautiful butterfly and let's see can I make him or her all sparkly hmm I don't even know if I can decide if it's right here no 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 oh look at that huh that's a first I think if I tried using those before I don't know that's funny. Okay. So, there we go. Look at those. Those are beautiful. I love them. Oh, we've really made this box special. Okay, I think it's about time to put this moonstone back. Let's go put finish up the little tail end of that butterfly. Over here. And this is the royal purples again. And let's go finish putting on the ends of this butterfly. Oh, I was going to use a small one. Duh. Let's see. Question is, I've already done this once, woman. And, like I said, I have no one here to remind me. Oh my gosh, I've already done this once. I've got to be kidding with me. Seriously, please tell me you're still sticky. We're going to see. Because I left out the ones I didn't want to use. I wanted to use the small ones to see if we can get the tail to look um, smaller. Okay, I think. Yes. Awesomeness. Look at there. There we go. And only you who watched the video will know. No one else will know. Right? There we go. And got the tail done. So what do y'all think? We're done? I think we're done. I don't think we should do anything else. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I love it. Do you think I made a mistake with going up here with the H or do you think I should come up here with the with the L? See how this this went like that? You think I should just come up there with the L so it looks more even? Hmm, I might do that. But I also have another idea. So I am thinking about. Y'all know I like to bling up everything, right? I'm thinking about going around the line with purples because it's purples. We need more purples favorite color is purple. So I am going to, I guess, start putting blue on the lines, dot on the lines, and figure out how I'm going to do it. What do you think? I think I'm going to try that. So when I see you again, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and come up here with this glue. I'll do it right now since we're talking about it, and I have no one here to remind me. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to come right in here with this glue. The look is starting to set a little bit. Get underneath there to the brush stuff. Yeah, I'm not used to 
fork in this log. Normally when I'm through putting glue down, I'll go rinse the tray out so I can reuse them. But since they are disposable trays, that's okay too. I don't know about you, I got lots of these. Do you may have a good idea on what to do with all these trays besides this glue? Got any other crafts or projects we can use? Okay, so we're going to come in there so that way, at least to me, it'll feel a little more balanced to go up and to come up that way. Since I can't pull them off, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go around this border. And how am I going to do this? I'm thinking that I'm going to do a bigger one here on the corner, like that, and then start coming down here instead of doing the whole line. I'm thinking we're just going to do part of it. Does that make sense? I'm thinking I'm going to have to get some more to, uh, brush here before it's too long. It's getting pretty gummy. So, yeah. Oopsie. You're a big dot, aren't you? Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep dotting all around the border. And then I'm going to figure out what on earth I'm going to come around the sides with and whoopsie oops I'm gonna drop that and remember I told you about my handy dandy wet paper towel right that is exactly why we have that here there we go so your sparkler stash and or crystal stash you can do crystals the same way they just don't have, um, I don't know if they have the longevity as a glass drill would be, would have, and or um, the depth of sparkle. These are kind of like a diamond ring. Or, and uh, uh, I don't know, a child's ring? I don't know how to explain it. Because I know a lot of these days, like Cuba Zirconia, for example, do go way down. But the glass drills are extra sparkly. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep going around. And I hope we don't drip anymore. So we're committed at this point. There is not another box like this one that I know that I have. And I don't even know if, if they remake boxes. It's not like you can just go and continue to get them. Like at the craft section at Walmart or something. It doesn't work like that. So, hopefully we're going to like it. Because it is what it is. Yes. That is going to be the case. Now let's turn this around. So my hand doesn't get... Uh, see how the, the spacing here on this butterfly and that dot? I'm going to try to use the same spacing, and that was a very huge dot of glue right there. I'm thinking, you know I want a bigger one on this corner, because I have an idea for that. But, I think I'm going to clean that one up. It's just too big. I don't need a dot of glue that big. So, I'll cut you out of there. Anybody got any better ideas? What you think? I wonder who's going to be the winner of this. It is going to be auctioned in um, Kokesha Warren's event in, uh, I want to say October. I shouldn't I should know that let me go check I'm gonna check for you and domestic violence event and charity auction 
So that is what this is for. Kokesha Warren has a Facebook group called Break the Silence 2023. Break the Silence 2023 Facebook group. I'll try to have that down below. And this is going to be event for a domestic violence. Purple. Anything purple on the canvas I think is going to happen. I'm a sponsor for the event. And um, so she likes purple and butterflies, domestic violence event, and charity auction. And it's Break the Silence 2023 in Facebook. Okay, then let's see what I got here. Hmm. I wish that there was better spacing right there. I don't love that. And I better take care of it now if it's going to be taken care of. Let's see. What if I just make one in the middle there? Yep. I think that'll be better. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. I ain't got a lot of glue on there. I'm going to do a big dot here in the corner. I got ideas for those corners. And that was a big dot right there. Okay, so. Go here. Go here. Yep. Give me a home stretch. So I have the uh, great woods retreat next week. And I'm very much looking forward to that. Been spending the last four days getting ready every day. From now until we leave in a week, we'll be getting things ready for that retreat. Um, so it takes a lot of preparation. So I barely get to diamond paint. I do get to visit. That's fun. But it's too short, always too short. We'll travel about nine hours on Wednesday, get there late, you know, later Wednesday. And that's a big dot there. And then we will. It doesn't actually technically start until Thursday about four. We're not even allowed into the craft room until four on Thursday, as far as I know. And then you got to be out of the craft room by noon, I think. I think it's noon on Sunday. So you get two full days, Friday and Saturday, basically. So it's never long enough. I always wish it were longer. It's a ton of work for such a short period of time. And I really love the one, the, um, the retreat they have in February down in Hillsboro, Texas. It's called the Red Boot Retreat. It's, it's, smaller and quite a bit maybe only 35 people there but there it, it's called a no frills and I personally love it I love it there's no um, sponsors there's no vendors you can bring stuff to trade or de-stash but there's all kind of crafters quilters stitchers diamond painters and you just I just got to work and work and work and that was lovely and the venue was lovely you eat right in the same room you craft in oops I can't take that one and it's a newer facility it has beautiful nice bathrooms it was plenty of space it was great food even though I don't eat much of it I bring a lot of my own food I have to just make do um, since I don't eat breads and sugars, most things. But it was an I kept full. Trust you me. I am not lacking for anything, that's for sure. Okay. But I really like that because it's very relaxing. Okay, I touched this one. I'm going to do that one again. And these are starting to dry there. What I did forget was to come back to our twilight that I put up and that's us for us because the L is dry so I thought it was going to break away again but for now I won't because I'm going to go ahead and 
put those on the L. I'm trying not to put my hand on the other dots. What do you think? Is this something that interests you? Is it too tedious? It's not hard. I love making things more beautiful and more blingy. So that's why I take the time to do this. Because it makes me happy. And I'm laying drills down. So creating in general makes me happy. There. Ah. That's a little more balanced. Don't you think? I think that's just more balanced. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna let the rest of it dry. And I'm gonna figure out this border, hopefully throw in some more purples and put up these twilights drills. And I'll see you back again in a few minutes, folks. We're gonna finish our box up here shortly. Bye now. For a minute, just for a minute. Just a break. Take a break. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. Okay. See you soon. Okay, folks. Back for the last little bit. As you can see, I have put most of the drills down, and this is the pattern I've come up with. I am showing, too, a new product that we're going to have coming out soon. There is Big S for Us and Royal Purples. And I put four of those on the corners. And then I came up with this pattern. I went dark, light, and then the AB, dark, light, AB, all the way around. And down here I messed up, so <laughs> I had to re-dot it because I wasn't paying attention. So now I'm going to finish that up on camera with y'all so we can see how this finish comes together. And I can show you how it turns out. What are you thinking? Hopefully I added enough purple in here. So we have dark light and unicorn, dark and then the light from hydrangea and unicorn. Carry it back over here. Dark light unicorn. And these the royal purples again have varying shades just like the hydrangea. So I haven't been trying to pick out the same shades. I've just been getting whatever comes up. And there we have it, folks. We have a finish. So there is our hopeful box for Miss Keisha's event and in October. So go to, remember to go check her out and her event. I will try to remember to link those in the comments. Um, and again, that is Break the Silence 2023 Facebook group. And it's the domestic violence event and a charity auction. So this box will be in that auction that I have personally personalized for the winner. And it will be filled with 28 different round AB crystals, 28 different colors in here for our winner. And this is valued at $93. Of course, the artwork is priceless, right? <laughs> Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. There you go. Everything needs bling. So remember to shine bright and don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Bye now.